Yeah, we've been asking you guys at home to send in your questions for Robbie and Maka all morning, and I've picked out the best few. So hopefully you boys are ready. Have a look at that. Nice Size memory, the shirts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very different now. So the first question comes from Rob Evans. We're going to ease you in nicely with these ones. He's asking, who's the best player that you both played with at Liverpool? <laughs> Each well, other? Yeah, well, I think for me, Steve Jard gets a mention, but I did. I mean, it's not because he's here, but I love playing with him because I scored, obviously, a few goals with the help of him, so... I think you got more joy out of my goals than what you did at home as well, <laughs> when you see some of the celebrations. I didn't score enough. Um, yeah, you know, as, as Robbie rightly said, we were very <clears throat> fortunate to play with arguably some of the greatest players in Liverpool's history, and that's, you know, an incredible thing to say. So, certainly, Robbie, Steven Gerrard, <clears throat> big mention to Johnny Barnes as well, who was an absolute superstar, so... Um, all of them, but it's very hard to um, it's very hard so to pick tough somebody. To pick. What about favourite goals that you both scored for Liverpool? From the same question there from Rob. Uh, well, any any time I score goals at Wembley uh, in finals, and any time you can win a trophy for Liverpool, that's that's what everybody's obsessed with at the moment, aren't they? Winning trophies and getting some silverware. So any time you can score goals and win win finals, I think they're they're the most important goals for for your club. I, I think for me, I mean, I, I, I love scoring tapping. So regardless of who it was against. But, I mean, probably the cliched answer is any goal against uh, Manchester United or Everton was always, <laughs> was always great. <laughs> OK, Plastic, Plastic Geordie's asking, is the white suit in the wardrobe or did it go to the charity shop? I don't, uh, mine, certainly not. I've, I can't... <laughs> I, I, I think I... Gone. I don't even know where it was, to be very honest. I, um, it's probably gone right after the game. Oh. I, just went, I went back to the hotel... <laughs> Climbed into bed and, um, and, and yeah, probably um, left it in the I, water, I, I've actually still got mine. Have you? Yeah, I've still got it. I love it. It's in, uh, it's in the museum, in the uh, football <laughs> museum in Manchester. Can really? you wear it next time you come back on the show? I mean, it might be a bit tight now. <laughs> but, uh... A bit tight? He's joking. <laughs> he wouldn't no. get in mine. That alone is. No, to be fair, no, I, I mean, when I, when I found it in a wardrobe not long ago, I did actually try it on and it did fit me, so it must have been absolutely huge back then. <laughs> <laughs> it was the style, it was the yeah. style. I, look, yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's probably perfect for people who want to get married on, on beaches, but maybe not perfect for yeah. FA Cup finals. The style is slightly changing nowadays, unless you're Tony Adams. Uh, Tony Jabroni has written in... Ah, you leave him alone. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what would have turned your Liverpool side into title winners? Probably uh, winning the trophy. Probably one, <laughs> one, one or, probably one or two better players. I think. Any position? I wouldn't uh, comment on that, but I think at times we were probably just one or two players short. Yeah, and a little bit of consistency as well. Yeah. I think we were. We were not a bad side. We were very, very close, but maybe that consistency over yeah. over the X amount of games was probably where we. OK, John Bocking is asking, how do you rate Robbie Savage as a footballer? And he <laughs> says, tell the truth. He's all right. <laughs> Just all right? Yeah. <laughs> Out of ten, about well, five. What do you think, lads? I'd give him a six, because he obviously had a good career and he played for a few number of, well, number of clubs in the Premier League, so... <laughs> yeah, it's... He's, he's, That's average then, bad. Robbie. You'll take that, won't you? Uh, right. John McKenzie's asking, one for you, Steve. Who yes. threw the biggest parties at Real Madrid? Oh, well, I think Robbie could, uh, Robbie could probably answer that as well. Yeah. Um, would have been um, Ronaldo, the Brazilian Ronaldo. Robbie? Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me nicely on to the next question from Gary Purcell, who says, is it true that, Robbie, you got on the Real Madrid victory parade bus when Maka scored in the 2000 Champions League final? It, well, it wasn't actually the Champions yeah, League. It was actually that, yeah. when they won the league, actually. Ah. So, uh, I mean, it's the first time I've ever won the league, so <laughs> I wanted to celebrate it. But funny enough, I, I went to Madrid and seen Maka. I think it was the first time I'd yeah. been to a game. They end up winning the league. Um, and he just came in the dressing room. Because he hadn't seen me for a while, he went, we've got to go on a tour, and just threw me a, a Real Madrid training top. Brilliant. So I'm just on the, um, on the bus in this Real Madrid training top, and <laughs> you can imagine, me, it was... I mean, one of the most surreal nights I've ever had, actually, really was. <laughs>